YTPC, Padre Piper, coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube to say hello, YouTube Pipe community. I hope you're finding all the blessings that the Lord has in store for you. I'm blessed. I wanted to share a couple of blessings with you today, and I also wanted to share my top five list of hybrid blends. What's a hybrid blend, you say? It's a crossover, it's a mixture. Is it an English? Is it an aromatic? Is it confused? Is it good to smoke? Especially this time of the year when the weather is starting to get cool, it is definitely good to smoke. Before I get to my top five list, a couple of things I wanted to share with you. I received in the mail, I have forgotten all about this, I was blessed to have been the winner in the giveaway contest that was hosted by the Pipe Smoking Preacher. I'm gonna put his information down in the cellar. If you don't know the Pipe Smoking Preacher, get on over there, give him a sub and get to know him. Uh, he has some wonderful um, pipe-related talks and rants uh, on political stuff, fun stuff. He's, he's a great guy uh, and uh, Shout out to you, my brother, and uh, my love to you, your family, your beautiful bride, and that lovely little pup of yours, Austin. I love when he uh, when you put him in the videos. That's a shame what had to happen to us. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let me share what I got in this giveaway that he sent on over here. This is some wonderful stuff. I really only thought it was gonna be one thing. Uh, and that was, I'm gonna save that part for last because I don't know anything about it. I'm curious and can't wait. But in this winnings, in addition to the one thing I thought he was shipping over to me, are three, three tins of tobacco. One is Lane Limited Anniversary. Uh, the 125 anniversary, honest to goodness, I've never had this. I have not had this, and so looking forward to giving it a try. And also included in that were two tins by Dunhill. And folks, you know Dunhill ain't there no more. So really nice to be able to have this in the cellar. We've got some uh, Dunhill early morning pipe, start the day. Dunhill nightcap to end the day. Thank you, my friend. These tins are greatly appreciated. Now here's the part of the prize that I thought I had won. Didn't know about those tobacco tins. This, this is called an electric plasma arc pipe lighter. That's some fancy schmancy stuff and I am just absolutely uh, amazed by the concept behind this. I know very little about it. This is literally the first time I'm even opening this box. But as you can see over here, as it implies, it charges in a USB port. So it's an electric type of lighter that gets its power from being charged in a USB port on a computer. Oh look, I just opened it and it's already got a uh, the blue light. I'm almost afraid to touch this because I don't know how this... I'm going to try it. Let's see. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> it's got a charge! Look at that! There's this heat! This... Oh, man. Pipe smoke and preacher. I can't wait to put this thing to use. I cannot wait to try this puppy out. This is so cool. I had no idea they even made such a thing. Look how beautiful it is. It's metallic. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, my friend. And again, to my YTPC subscribers, I'm gonna have a link down in the cellar to the Pipe Smoking Preacher. Go ahead and give him a sub and tell him Padre sent you over. What else? One more thing I want to share with you before I get to the top five list, and I'm gonna cruise through the top five list. I don't wanna to take too much of your time today. Uh, besides, YouTube's broken. I don't know why it's broken, but it's been broken. Have you noticed that? Did you survive it? I blame Derek Tant. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't know. YouTube's been having problems the past couple of days. Um, over on YouTube and Instagram and in social media and such, uh, Mr. Brog runs a little contest on a weekly basis, if I'm not mistaken. They, they offer a, a riddle. You can watch the video. And what you do is you answer the riddle and uh, on uh, Instagram, and then you tag 
some friends in that answer so that they can get involved in it too. And it's a promotion. It's, it's Mr. Brock's way of, of getting some really good marketing and good on them. That's kind of a brilliant idea. But once a week, what they do is they randomly pick one of the folks who has uh, answered the riddle and tagged their three friends and they win that pipe of the week. And sometime back, I don't know, I guess it was late summer, uh, I was the winner. I uh, woke up, had a, a direct message from them saying, hey, congrats, you're the winner. Send us your address. We want to send you over your winnings. And this came a few weeks ago, and, and um, I should have uh, done a box opening sooner than this. From Mr. Brog, this was the, uh, the pipe they sent me. I have not yet smoked it. I will tell you, folks, I am a fan of Mr. Brog. Uh, for the price point, this is a high-quality uh, smoking pipe at a really nice price point. Now they're not briar. They do make briar pipes, but you know the, what they're known for is their pear wood pipes. And I'm going to tell you what, pear wood smokes fine. It really does. And they make some beautiful pipes. Look at this one. They call this their number 48. I, this is my first number 48 in my pipe collection, I'm a big fan of the number 51, the Omega. And in fact, I have one, two, three, four of those, maybe five. I have a lot of those. I love them. I love the bit that comes on the number 51, but this number 48, they call this the Chakla or the Chokla or the Ch Chokla. I have no idea because I'm not hooked on phonics. I don't know. I'll call it the number 48. It's a beautiful pipe. It takes a nine millimeter uh, filter. And what I find with these Mr. Brogs, just like in my Savinelli's, if you use one of those Savinelli uh, balsa wood filters, they do so much better than the, the paper filters. This is a gorgeous pipe. Thank you to Mr. Brog. I cannot wait. How am I looking at that, huh? This could be the thumbnail. How's that? Yeah? Huh? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Brog. I cannot wait to give this pipe a try. All right, let's get to the top five list. Top five hybrids. Hybrids, crossovers, however you want to call them. I think they're great for the fall. You just start to introduce a little bit of Latakia, or Latakia, or however you like to pronounce that. And uh, usually the room note is a little bit more acceptable than say a lat bomb like a you know star of the east or something but you still get that that deep latakia flavor in these so here we go i'm going to give you padre's top five list of hybrids for the fall these are the ones that i really enjoy right out the gate number five sutliff aromatic english what is that it is exactly what the title suggests. It is an aromatic English. It is probably the quintessential hybrid. It's not my favorite. It's number five, so it's up there. It's good. But uh, if you want an introduction to the hybrid, to the crossover, that's one I recommend you start with. The Sutliff Aromatic English. It's number five on my list, top five list of hybrids. Number four, is one that's a little bit hard to get a hold of, but if you can get it, I bet you're gonna like it. And if you don't, you can send it over my way. It's from Sillums, it's Sillums Black. It's a wonderful autumnal blend. Um, it's, uh, I've described it in the past as a cornucopia of flavor. It really is just a flavorful uh, pipe smoking blend. It's not a true aromatic, you're not gonna get that you know, kind of sugary, sweet, you know, but it's flavorful. And in fact, one of the notes I pick up in there, it took me a while to figure it out. I knew it was something familiar and I kept thinking childhood. It's got like almost a sassafras that comes through. Reminds me of like a root beer and it's not overpowering, but it'll snap at you and kind of, you'll get it and it's lovely. It's a uh, uh, Sillum's Black, wonderful blend. Again, a little hard to get a hold of, but if you can get some, it's one of those fall blends, those hybrids, those crossovers that just makes this time of the year that much more enjoyable. That's number four. Heading down to number three, Shortcut to Mushrooms. Shortcut to Mushrooms 
is uh, one that's probably familiar to a whole lot of people. It's made uh, by Just For Him, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's the name of the store that makes that. Um, it's got kind of a slight cherryness to it, nothing overpowering there. It's got some good, um, some good bass Latakia mixed in there. I find it a little bit heavy on the Nick side, but that's okay. I can get by with it. It's just flavorful. It's good. It's another one. Uh, it's enjoyable. It's one of these things. It's almost hard to describe until you've smoked it for yourself. And, you know, everybody's palate's different, as our good friend Bradley would say. Your mileage may vary. Shortcut to mushrooms is number three on the list. Five, four, three. Number two. Number two, number two, and I really, really enjoy this one. And this one, I've only had some familiarity with for about a year. It was about a year ago that Matches860 talked about this one as a holiday blend on his channel. It's one of those wonderful hybrids. It's made by Lane. It's Lane HGL. Now, this is basically a Lane... Oh, I think it's RLP6. It's one of their other aromatics, um, a lighter aromatic. It's not like a, a 1Q. RLP6 is a little lighter than that, my, for my taste anyway. And then they, they put a nice little dose of Latakia in there. Really deepens the flavor, deepens the enjoyment. Perfect for this time of the year. Again, not a lap bomb where it's going to be overwhelming and it's going to turn off people around you who aren't smokers. Uh, this still gives off a very pleasant room note. That's number two, Lane HDL on my top five list of hybrids. And number one, you can only get it at the Country Squire. It's called PS Blend, PS Blend. Now, I think the PS stands for, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've been on the website and read this. It was uh, the initials of one of their longtime customers who has since moved on, Heaven Wirt, and I think his name was Paul Simmons. And I apologize, John David, if I got that name wrong. But it's named for him, um, and uh, it's a wonderful crossover blend. I love it all the way through winter. It reminds me of a great holiday flavor and, and smoke. I get from it these deep, dark, semi-sweet chocolate notes from it. And that, I just, I love a good dark chocolate. And that's what smoking this is like with that smokiness of a little bit of Latakia and a creaminess and it's a cool smoke. It's P.S. Blend from the country Squire Tobacconist, and it's number one on Padre's top five hybrid blends. And I really recommend the hybrids this time of the year as we're heading into some cooler weather and some fall temperatures and all that good stuff that comes with autumn. Hey, listen, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing. You know how much I care for each and every one of you out there in the YTPC. I'm going to sign off and wish you this. God's peace, grace, and blessings. You go out and make it a good one, YouTube.